Okay, this one is for those swimmers out there who are either recovering from a current injury or have got an old surgical problem and you're doing better and you're nearly there but you just need a few sports specific or exercises that are related to swimming. You've done your physio rehab stuff but then there's sort of a gap between that and doing a lot of swimming. So I'm going to give you some things to try and work on the current or the stuff you were doing like all the rotator cuff and scapular work then relate that into swimming exercises. So what I want you doing first off is making sure you've tidied up, which some of you might not have, your internal rotation strength and range. Super important. So put that band around about sort of mid height here. You're going to work on having that band behind you. Now I'll just start off with one band then you can add to two, but what you're trying to work on is getting it up at that 90 degree angle, okay, stepping forward until you feel that tension. Remember, as a swimmer, you need lots of external rotation. So for that position there, that is not just a stretch. You're going to go, can I find my optimum range here? And then move forward through rotation. So you're trying to get range, which you may have not quite got all your range back. So this is for, if you're thinking, yes, that's me. This is what you've got to work on first. Is you think, I'm doing control work as I go forward, a little bit of strengthening as I go forward. Most of it, or this exercise, is about range going backwards and then being strong in that range. It's a very vulnerable position at outer range for people. So having a band load like that is really good to try and get that last little few degrees of range and strength for you in the pool. All right, that's your first one you want to work on. Second thing you're going to work on is doing a pull through. Now, I would put that down here so i get that down so you might just attach it lower you'd change to maybe some harder bands so i would go upper grader bands and it depends on how strong swimming you are you might have two bands with this what you're going to work on is your flexion range here up here so you when you come through how much range have you got here and we're going to work on the backwards part so for this you go oh, well, i've got two bands work on Having that tension there, go down kneeling so it's, it's on an angle like that. Get out into a straight arm, okay? There's no you're like you're going through the pool like that. Then what I want you to work on is the range that you probably just missed, which is this range here and getting it right back to here. Similar to what we just did, but this is flexion range, okay? Rather than external rotation range. And then pulling through, which is technically extension, okay? But going through and slowly going back here and getting this stretched out as much as you can and trying to separate, like keeping your body still, but letting that hang backwards without trying to bend too much. You'll naturally bend a little bit with the elbow, but try and keep that relatively straight so the focus is on range here, not how far back you can get the hand. I know when you, people come through, they, you, know, you bend your elbow, but for you, what I want you to work on is isolating this movement here in the shoulder joint because if you've had an injury or surgery, this is what you've lost. You've lost this range in here, and you ought to get that back by going into that position there. So doing work like that is super helpful in getting that and restoring that range. Then what I want you to try and do is work on the extension principle again. But this time, what you're going to do is put this super high. So this goes right up. Now, you might have to put this over a door or something high like that. If it's not high enough, just kneel down. So if you find like, oh, that's not high enough, you go and kneel down, right, to make the anchor point high. For this, what you're going to work on is a straight arm extension. So from there, try and have the line of pull all the way through like that, all right? And you're going to go from there, and you're going to pull it down. But the first thing you've got to think about is make sure you get the shoulder blade down when you pull. Don't leave your shoulder blade up in the air like that. You've got to pull down as you pull the hand down. So you're using the, you're using your lat, but you're also using your lower traps and getting that shoulder blade down. As you pull down, then you're going to pull all the way through the straight arm. You're trying to isolate the strength in the shoulder. Okay. A lot of you know, obviously with swimming, you're going to bend your elbow through the water. Okay. But I'm going to try that won't isolate and get your strength up in here. This will. So for the rehab component, you don't really sort of do exactly like you're swimming. You're trying to isolate deficits through the body that have happened because of injury or surgery. So once you're back there, keep that shoulder back. You watch this. Keep it back, keep it back, keep it back. All the way through. And then return the arm. Okay? So what you don't want to fall in the trap of is when you pull back, is this lean the whole shoulder pop forward. 
okay? The other trap is when you pull down, there's plenty of pop up. So this is like an advancement of general extension, okay? You're just doing it from a height, you're getting way more range through there, which is what you need as a swimmer, that full range, okay? So if you're getting good at that, you can turn that into a strengthening tool, make the bands harder, and really work on some power through there but you're still trying to think about isolating the deficit in the shoulder joint. If there's a weakness in there, you need to work on it, don't go too heavy. Then what you do, go back to your internal rotation, but I want you to go high to low. So meaning, I might just take those two off there. High to low, so we did internal rotation for the range. Now what you're gonna do is go through more of a movement pattern. So this one here, I want you to go from external rotation where you were, all right, you've just got to get these angles right, but I want you to extend it out a little bit. So not fully 90 degrees at the elbow, extend it out a little bit, and have your whole shoulder back. So you're, this is a not just isolating the shoulder, this is a pattern of movement. So let your shoulder blade get pulled back into extent with retraction. Your elbow is sitting up around about 90 degrees, but bent further, and then you're externally rotated. Then you come forward and cross over your body into that position there. Okay, so forward internal rotation and then slowly let it wind back, all the way back to external rotation. So you're getting way more range through the shoulder joint. Now you may find that's quite easy, which is the idea. This is a pattern of movement, trying to get improvements through that shoulder like your other shoulder. Trying to get coordination improvements. Remember, a lot of swimming is coordination of those shoulders, so this doesn't have to be heavy. The heavier you go, you might start doing this sort of thing. So just watch that this band is not too heavy. Start light, get the movement perfectly right, and then improve it. Now you notice that when I'm rotating, I'm rotating as I go across my body. So if you think I start off in external rotation, I'm going into sort of horizontal flexion and internal rotation. So I'm going across my body, almost adduction as well, then back to abduction. So there's a lot of movements going through there, and a lot of that is coordination stuff. So it's a really nice one to put in. Then you always have to finish off with external rotation. A lot of swimmers don't have enough external rotation, so you've got to be one of those people that does. What I would do, put it back down again. You're gonna go and do external rotation where you need it, which is out of the water. There's no point you doing it down here now because you've passed that test. You've done that sort of strengthening, you've done here. You need to be out of the water, so being strong up here, all right, that's where we're gonna do external rotation. So what I suggest you do, is kneel down a little bit, get that on the same sort of 45 degree angle, get your arm fine where 90 is, go higher to about 135, and then externally rotate up there. So for those swimmers, usually you've got quite mobile shoulders. You don't have any impingement by going up high, the elbow higher than your shoulder. So if you're one of those people who've got impingement, well, you can't get this far. You need to work on your other stuff. But if you've got heaps of range here and there's no impingement problems there, remember, as you come out of the water, you're always higher than your shoulder, then you can work on externally rotating like that. Okay, so trying to keep your elbow higher than your shoulder, but externally rotate. It's a little bit tricky. Sometimes your elbow starts flying around that position. You really may have to look at it and make sure what is that doing. Getting that as much range backwards and high with the elbow as you can. So you're training your shoulder to be stronger in that position. All right, so there's my five. Give those a shot if you're a swimmer. See if it helps you get from sort of your rehab back fully swimming. See you next time.